Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy, O3. Welcome back to Platicas. This is Platica number 12. I'm here with my cousin, Chunky. He was my first guest, and now he's the first guest that has come back onto the podcast to have another Platica. What's up, my boy? How you been? I know the first Platica was a couple, like, probably like two months ago, 11 Platicas ago. Um, What's up with it, dog? How you been? No, I've been pretty good. It will work, you know, same old, same old. A little shopping here and there and shit. But yeah, I mean, overall, it's been good. We can't complain. Just a quick summary of who my cousin is. I mean, obviously, you know, I've talked about our relationship multiple times on the podcast. I talked about it with you and your sister. You know, known each other our whole lives. Uh, But yeah, past couple of years, you started like a collectibles business, right? Yeah. Chunky's collectibles. How's that going? I mean, can't complain for, but I mean, it's a bit slow. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to lie. Hasn't picked up like I expected it to, but hey, it is what it is. Can't have the good without the bad. So how many years has it been already, dog? Like in total? Damn. Couple years. I'll see a good, uh, Five plus. Five plus years. For sure. Old? Yeah, for sure. And what's like, <clears throat> what's the major difference between five years ago and now? Uh, to be honest, it's just more that I, I guess I like, uh, kind of quit buying like the copy ones, like the Chinese clones and shit like that. I got more with the original brand, but I mean, it's always the same shit, you know, like fucking if I can't get it here, I'll get it over there. But, uh, I mean, it's been a pretty good experience, I ain't gonna lie. Or just looking at them and I'm just like, damn, that's crazy. <clears throat> like two months ago, you gave me a box, right? I still have the box of all the ones that well, how do you what did you consider those like throwaways or like what you what made you decide to like choose the ones that you put in that box? I uh, honestly, it's because like I kind of want to transition more to like uh, with the posable figures, not more just like the statues. And so a lot of the ones in that box were just like statues, huh? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, there were some pretty good ones in there, you know. But I was like, ah, you know, I gotta make room and shit because I started buying more. I don't know if you can actually tell right there. It's a little more filled. Yeah. Yeah. I still um, I I still have no room for them. You know, they're just been chilling in that box. Uh, clean them Back up. Your phone. You know, there just there's no no space. Bro, I got no space right now, dog. Yeah. Because so, that was one of my main dilemmas too, and shit. Because I didn't have no space. And then, what you say? You replaced it with uh. Posable figures. What was the, uh, what was the shift in mind state like? The, what was the decision like? The ultimate this is decision that you took to be like, okay, I want to move away from this and focus on this. Honestly, you had to do more with like the taking the pictures and shit like that. All so right. you know, like it's better like if I could do like my own stuff, you know, like my own poses and stuff like that. I just just, you know, like you know how the statues can't pose them. It's just as I'm that shit. And it's kind of like I wanted to do that, you know, like do my own poses, you know, take my own pictures and up. <clears throat> and then you do this decision, right? What was like the first one that you bought? Oh, like, did, you already have, did you already have some already, like before? I already had some before, but like when it actually just my first one to, from transitioning to, from the statue to that was that blue eyes right there. I know you can see it. Oh, that's when we went to Toy Arena? Nah, that's a whole different one. Oh, now, right. this one is uh, it's like a more solid one. It's not, not the model kit. Is that the one that we got at that little Sakura store at Frankenstein when we went? I, I felt like I seen you buy so many at this point. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> you know? It's like, damn, was it really there? Nah, I think this one... Nah, this one I got it online. 
All right. Yeah, I know that I remember. Now I do remember, Yeah. I remember us having a discussion about. Um, it was you didn't really say it like that, like the way you're explaining it now, but I remember when I think it started with that Exodia, no? Like I think when you built that, when you put together that Exodia, uh, I was like, oh shit, like this food, this food, like you know, it was because it's different. You know, when you bought Yeah, that it Exodia, was something it was a little different. different. So It reminded me of, I didn't like, even expect to come out with it. the, the, the Gundam, right? It was, like, you only had the Gundams, right? And then the Yeah. Exodia was, like, the first purchase that you did that was, like, it was, like, a model kit, right? That you had to build it, right? But it wasn't Yeah. a Gundam. It was an actual anime. It was like a whole different series type of thing. Yeah, different series, my bad. Um, and so now you did this transition, right? Did you ever, like... Do you ever picture yourself doing some shit like this? Like, you know? Oh, Was to that be a... honest, man, nah, like never. I never expected to be in this situation, like right here. Uh... Like it was just more. Nah, to be honest. It's just like one of those random ass shits, huh? It's just random, dog. Like, it just happened. Yeah, for like I guess it just. Well, I mean, I had my reason to start, but it's just one of those things that just like came out of the blue type of thing, came out of left field. So you start something and then it evolves, right? Like it just changes up Yeah, as you go. You're going with the flow. because believe it or not, I, well, you know, fucking my cousin teaches. Yeah. Yeah, I started getting that for more into the fucking posable shit, too, because he's like more into pops. Mm. But fucking, yeah, after I started telling him, like, because he's like, he wanted the Demon Slayer ones. And I was like, fool, they're going to come out with some new ones. Like, check them out. I was like, fool, I send them a link. I was like, fool, you better check. Fool, you're going to make me fucking waste more money on this shit. It's going to be like those, uh, what are those called for? Like those gambling sites, you know, like, like those commercials and shit that at the, at the bottom, it says, uh, gambling addict Fucking or gambling problems. <laughs> the hotlines Oh and shit. yeah. The hotlines. It was going to start calling <laughs> an, um, anime collecting addiction. That shit sounds, I mean, it sounds funny though, but it, it, I mean, At you some point, it does. It's just when we get serious about it, it's just like, damn, at the end of the day, it kind of is. So, I mean, yeah, we might be clowning, but I feel like there is a, there's a certain element of addiction that goes into it, right? Yeah. It's not sugar coating, you know? It's not sugar coating. Oh, shit. I know, I, I, have we, did we ever talk about dopamine? Did we ever have a discussion about dopamine? Yeah, that's what we were talking about last time. Like, that's why it kind of, when I started doing, like, the impulsive buying and shit, they, Oh like, yeah. I got into that. Do you feel like understanding the 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 dopamine hit that I mean in your case you probably get it from the anime for me I get dopamine hit from anything at this point you know just cuz of the ADHD Do you does that make you like a little bit more conscious when it comes to your purchases or are you, are you still on some fucking shit though Nah, I've been more conscious about it because um, no, because I don't know, but it's just like, as a way I'm seeing it for like everything's going up in price. When I can't just be like, oh fuck it, yeah, I'm gonna get it right here for it. Bam, there goes a hundred bucks. Oh, nah, you gonna get that one. Bam, another hundred bucks. That's just like nah. So I kind of just like slow down on it. But yeah. I've been more a little conscious about it. I haven't really been buying it like that no more. When I was writing, I was like, oh, fuck, damn. Music, like, making music does give me dopamine. Do you feel any dopamine? Like, what? Like, what is the difference between when you buy, when you sell, and when you build? Which one do you think gives you the most dopamine? Or make, which one just, like, makes you feel the best, dog? Honestly, is when I'm building the model kits. So I've, I've actually kind of like seen it as like a little therapeutic, because like you kind of just get lost in it while you're building it, you know. Put on some headphones, bump some music, you know, and just get lost in it. I mean, it does get frustrating when it comes, but overall, in general, like I, 
I like it for you know to be honest. Is there a certain mood, like uh kind of music that you listen to when you build that shit, or is it just like a random playlist? Uh to, I've kind of noticed more like when it's like bigger builds, like for bigger, like the Exodia ones. Mm -hmm. I tend to put like um like documentaries and shit that like girl. Like, and just vibe out to it. When it's like smaller stuff, it tends to be like uh more like a lo-fi. I, I think that's what they're called. Like the beats and shit. Yeah, on YouTube or what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was that little that chick is fucking sitting down in the desk and shit with that green sweater. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the classic. Sometimes there are some documentaries or like a podcast that mm -hmm. you could throw on, and sometimes they make you feel even better than like music and shit. Yeah. So you say what kind of documentaries you be watching? Uh, lately, it's been more like World War Two shit, oh, or like shit. Nazi shit. Like, yeah, it's been like all kinds, of, more like historic shit. When I started building the little Mega Man right there, I, I threw on uh, it was this crazy one I was talking about like all the like the like the first civilizations and stuff like that, and I was like, what the fuck? Kind of threw me off. And it kind of like sidetracked me a bit and shit. But I was like, oh shit, that shit was kind of pretty interesting. I forgot the name of that shit too. You ever um? Somebody told me to watch that show Vikings. Oh my boy, you gotta get on that. Oh, you seen that shit? Hell yeah, duh. My uncle's watching that shit too. I don't really like um it's hard for me to get into shows, dog. It's weird. Like Yeah, either... because like like when it starts, it kind of starts off a bit like the first two, three episodes, it's kind of slow. But yeah, once you get past that, like oh, it's all fucking fucking Taking over shit here, fucking take, you know. But I can't watch like classic shit. You know, World War Two is a little acceptable. You know, I can't watch no it's World War One. No, it doesn't. I could kind of put myself in the shoes. I can't see no American Revolution shit like some fucking <laughs> some getting water from the well type shit, you know? Like, I can't see that shit, you know? <laughs> I'm fucking nowhere. You know what I'm talking about? I can't see that shit. Yeah. I, I'm tired. Like, I don't know what it is. for. Maybe it's because it got ruined for me in school. Like, in high school, I remember that shit, dog. There's a book called uh, Pride and Prejudice. And that shit fucking ruined the fuck out of every, like, classic shit, dog. Like, <laughs> You know what they're all, talking about? Like Vic there, Victorian shit. fucking houses and all kinds of other shit. Like, like Victorian furniture. Like, what the fuck is that? Like Salem witch trials, you know? Like, yeah, like, what the fuck? 17th century art. Like, I can't, I can't stand that shit, dog. Like, it might be beautiful, but it, like with games too. Like, I can't play like, no World like, War II games. None of that shit. Like, I gotta be modern for me, dog. Like, I can't. Like, I gotta be some high tech futuristic shit. They either got to be like in the 90s, the 80s, you know, they're still a little acceptable. The 70s, all right, well, we're pushing it. 60s, all right, we're borderline. Ya pasando 50s are down. If it ain't about no Chicano shit, like, or, you know, like, like I ain't music I'm not shit, shit. I'm not going to watch it, dog. I'm not going to fucking watch it. Well, the, the one I've been telling you to watch for sure, bro, is that Peaky Blinders. Well, that shit is crazy, dog. That shit is wild. You know, it's funny. I I get a lot of uh, I get a lot of um, you know, on your on YouTube. That's probably like the only app I use now. I get a lot of Peaky Blinders recommendations on my shorts. That yeah, or Boardwalk Empire. And I'll click on it. I've you know? Oh hell yeah, Boardwalk is dope. Fool. It's 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 random, you know. I just what I consider those is like old school Soprano shit. Yeah, I mean it. I would understand it because, like, I would un I would probably watch Boardwalk Empire first before I would watch Peaky Blinders, only for the simple reason that there was a fucking time period where um, I was, like, fascinated with, like, the Italian mafia. And, like, this was yeah. even before I started watching um, The Sopranos. This was, like, in um, like in high school and shit. And to me, that was all interesting. So I would probably give that, uh, uh, you know... A try one day. I remember I did like a fucking research paper on Al Capone one time. But maybe. Yeah, oh, no. all right. So I don't know. If we did. Before we used to watch fucking Gangland and shit. 
<laughs> Tell me why I was just thinking about that shit the other day. I was like, damn. I don't that know was what a the... crazy show, too. Well, I mean, I'm not going to talk about the episode because, you know, this is. <laughs> I mean, the title is self explanatory. Yeah, Gangland Dog, it's a whole different pedal. But I remember I was when, I think I was like in middle school or like high school, probably like around that time. And you fools were like, hey, dog, watch. This is before I, the music. This is before 03. <laughs> <laughs> this was like listen to Chicano rap era, dog, like starring the dress banged out, starring, you know, this Madrid era. And you fools were like, this because remember all this shit was on YouTube? Yeah. They would put all the full episodes on YouTube. And I remember um, you fools told me to watch it. And I didn't really pay attention to it. And then I remember my brother, uh, we used to have a desktop in the sala. And he's like, hey, this is the shit that fucking old Flesh and, and Pumba told us about. Or I forgot what they used to call you back then and shit. Right? This was even before, like, this is a while, a long time ago. And I remember the first fucking uh, introduction. You know how, like, they used to have the bind- the, the folders and shit that would show, like, oh, the mugshot yeah. and the name? Yeah. I was like, yo, what the fuck is this? And, you know, obviously. Like, the affiliation he- and all that shit. Like, fuck, like, So if you watch Gangland, if you know what Gangland is, if you go see the first ever episode, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's all, that's that's all we're gonna say. With. That's all I'm gonna say. We're gonna we're gonna end that conversation with uh of gangland right there and then for we're not yes. we're not gonna entertain that um that topic. But going back to like the fucking the the collectibles dog. What is um what's the next step? Oh damn, so that's a that's a pretty well. I was actually thinking of renting out a little spot for to start fucking like buying in bulk more. I was thinking like a story. Those shits are pricey. Well, I mean that's what they are for, you know. But I was like, damn. Cause I was gonna say we could put them in the back too, but you're gonna get dusty as hell and shit. You talking about a storage unit? Yeah, or fuck, some shit, you know, like to store it. I was like, fuck, bro, like, I, I don't really got room in here no more, like, at all, so I can't keep shit in here. So I was, like, thinking, like, fool, I need to get, I'm more than likely going to have to get something separate and shit. Are we going to start hiding shit on the walls? <laughs> and walls and shit, fucking save it, sell it for a for fucking rainy day and shit. <laughs> That's just shit on the street. We got money and shit, so we got figures and shit against the walls. <laughs> That plastic wrap for you just are we um, walking on you just trying to fucking wrap all your figures and what is this shit called? Saran wrap? Yeah. We're gonna what be dripping you? it in fucking coffee and shit, talking about food, throw <laughs> off the sand like fool, you ain't no fucking drug lord and shit. <laughs> what are you doing, my boy? You got a sledgehammer and shit, there's a hole in the wall already. Gotta hide it from these scalpers and shit. Nah, but that's crazy, dog. Fucking a <laughs> uh, fucking storage unit. Are you good, my boy? That sounds fool, crazy. That shit sounds next level, fool. Yeah, I was like, fuck, but I was kind of looking at the prices for him. Like, damn, it's a flip out of my budget. Well, how much is a... Uh, they rent it by month, right? Or can you buy a, a yearly fucking... I mean, it's yearly, fool, but still, it's like... Monthly was, I think, like, the smallest one. Was probably like two some shit. God damn, a month win. Yeah, fam. Huh? And went to one not two, but like those other ones. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, you know, I was hoping I was get like a fucking the cheaper price or some shit. Like, was damn near the same price. Well, at this point, you're gonna have to start renting out a fucking a room at a motel, dog, and start stashing shit in there. Ah, uh, for we'll start making movidas in there and shit. Hey, Amy me up at room something, something and shit. At that motel on Florence and shit? Bring your own bag and shit? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? What are you doing shit? It's just like, you got security guards outside and shit with the... It's a three-knot? Like, oh, yeah, I hear that. Doom, 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 doom. Where has fucking shit plastered all over the wall. For, like, we'll take your time. Look around. Tell me what you need. 
We got a whole menu and shit. Oh, that at that <laughs> point, that sounds like a skit. What's up with us, though? Yeah, so it's for real. Nah, but I yeah, that's fucking. Yeah, for fucking jazz like that. I don't know about that yet, though. But that's kind of, I think, the next next move on that. You got like a jackhammer in the back before you start digging shit. Oh my, here's that banging on the concrete and shit. You start putting them bitches in the fucking those barrels, the the blue barrels. <laughs> Walter White. <laughs> Pablo shit and shit. Yeah, start Pablo attacking shit? different properties and shit. Yep. Oh, yeah. Two fifty for a fucking storage unit though, though. That's insane, man. Not even yeah, worth it. Was like why? I mean, if you're gonna do like that, and shit, that sounds like a multiple head operation right there. You know, like. Yeah, for three so. people. Because I was like, if doing a solo fools, that's not even going to be the way to go right now. And would you, where'd you look at it? Did you compare prices and shit? Yeah, because the originals is going to be like, I'm going to just go to like fucking the normal ones and shit, like public stores and shit. But even that was like, oh shit. You know, because I mean, everything's going to go up. Is, Going up in price now and shit, but I didn't expect it to be that much. You ever notice that there's so many of those storage places popping up all over the city? For the food, tell me about the food. They just opened up like three of them around the corner and shit. It's like one right here on Maywood, fucking, and then there was one right there on Santa Fe, and there's one in fucking Elamita and what was it? I know it's passing Florence and shit. Bro, there's one right there and by the Alameda Swami. There's one on Alameda. Oh, and, that I see that one, huh? I think it's like Alameda and Vernon. <laughs> and there's a there's another one close by too. But the one that's here around the corner from my block, that one it is like I thought they were gonna make apartments. You know, because there used to be something else yeah. back then. There used to be like another another swami little spot right there. But they took it down, and then when they told me they were going to build a storage place, I was like, what the fuck? And then going all, all over the city, I started noticing that they were, like, building a lot of those, and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, they're building that shit in fucking in 7-Eleven. I think the reason they're doing a lot of those storage places it's because a lot of people are selling their houses and they're fucking moving to apartments. And you just got to store that shit somewhere, you know, because I just can't fit that shit from my house to an apartment. Yeah, you know, so some shit, it has to, there has to be a certain reason. Nah, we're not going to get... Oh, tell me why, speaking about this shit. Uh, I don't know, I see I, some shorts came up on my fucking YouTube too, for the, like people teach you how to live off like storage units and shit. I don't I don't see like, some shit fuck? like that. Was I was running like, damn, fool, if the economy's getting that bad, fool, you got to live out of storage units? Like, that's crazy. Fools are running extension cords from the main office yeah, all into fool. their fucking storage unit. Yeah, like, you can only do it two months if you're really pushing it. And I was like, damn. That's wild. When I seen that shit, I was like, that's wild, dog. That is For fun. real. More I fools are like, like teaching you know how to live off the fucking... In your car and shit like that. I was like, damn, motherfuckers, like, rent a mobile. Who's in LA, though? That's I mean, some, I mean, some shit. I get it, you know. That's some LA shit. That's some big city shit, though. Like, living out of the most minimal it's necessity, you know, the less car storage. Bills you unit, pay the better and shit. RVs, been a lot of more RVs. Yeah. You know, oh, they're going towards Torrance. Well, there's like a whole f- main street full of those shits. I remember one time one of them burned up. Shit caused a whole fucking crazy shit right there. Them shits are always catching fire. Remember that? Um, I'm not gonna say where, wow. but uh, I remember drone. I used to go with drone for when I was still in high school to go blaze it after school in that little cut on Pacific. Oh yeah. They used to have those the fool with the buses. Remember that the shit? The fool with the buses? Yeah, remember there's like they used, they used to park some buses, right? Some like abandoned buses. Oh yeah. I remember and that was this was 
2011, 2012, 2013. Like 2012, 2011, 2013. And a couple of times after I would come back from Ohio, like the, the fools would be living in those buses. And this is before shit started, you know, getting off the fucking... That's yeah, getting out of hand, you know, and I was like, damn, that's crazy. And all over the city, like at that time, I thought at that time it was bad. Now it's pretty fucking bad. And there's the, the oh, storage yeah, unit shit, fool. Like that shit is insane to me. For real, dude. I was like, damn, like it's getting that bad. Yeah, it's bad. Cost it's of bad. living is getting worse. Huh? Do you feel like that has any, like, just the cost of living? Tying it back to the whole anime stuff before we continue on. Uh, do you feel like yeah, the oh, cost of living definitely, has affected the most industry? Definitely. Yeah, way fucking a lot, for, to be honest. The shit, I mean, compared to when I first used to go to Frankincense, like everything fucking, I mean, I understand, yeah, if it's a collectible, yeah, obviously you're going to have to pay a good amount of money, you know? But like for regular shit, you're talking about like it's sometimes it's even triple its price when you're just like, damn, for if you're trying to rob me, at least fucking tell me nicely or some shit, you know? Yeah. Like, but nah, because last time I was gonna buy a fucking a figure for that shit. I seen it on Amazon for like I think at that time it was like 35 bucks. I found it over there, fucking 65. I was like, no mames. <laughs> I was like, nah, I'm good on that. Yeah, see, it should. I feel like every industry is being affected. I, um, like the, because I pay for a lot of the subscriptions, like Zoom. Yeah. The, this, this shit right here, I pay for the subscription, the yearly subscription, the premium plan. Mm -hmm. And they went up in price. Um, Netflix, obviously, like, known for its price bump almost like on the yearly basis for the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. and all these subscription bases, they're going up. You know, I'm just like, damn, that's insane. Oh, even PlayStation Plus and all that shit. Yeah, I remember when they rolled out their new um, their new plan. Because uh, remember, it used to just be PlayStation Plus, and now they have, like, PlayStation Plus Gold and PlayStation Plus. And Premium and all that shit. Yeah, and everything's being becoming subscription-based. And Fuck then even, yeah, like, uh, DistroKid, where I upload the music to, like, Spotify and YouTube and all that shit, like, they got a price bump. So this year was probably, like, the one year where I got, like, back-to-back -back emails. I remember for a week, they're like, oh, your, your fucking, uh, your monthly payment or your yearly payment is going to go up. So I was like, oh, shit. You know? Like, damn. That's Makes me not even want to pay any shit. <laughs> I swear to God, I was like, nah, can I downgrade? Like, do I was like, fuck, or you got, like, another free... Free trial I can have around there and shit. Even like uh, like I play I pay for Peacock since mm -hmm. I every time I only get that's Peacock, the movie based thing, huh? Yeah, the movies that, and shows, the NBC shit, because that's where the WWE network is at. And what's so, NBC? what's up? It's on NBC. Yeah, so a NBC owns the platform Peacock, right? So like mm -hmm. that's where the office is at. Um, so I pay for it. Oh. The past like two years, I mean, three years, obviously. Uh, I think no, I paid the last year. I think I forgot when I did it, but I I paid uh -huh. for like Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber, and WrestleMania. I cancel it, and then later on in the year, I buy it in August for SummerSlam. Mm. I take it off, and then sometimes I buy it for Survivor Series. Sometimes I, you know, I bootleg that shit or something. But for sure, like WrestleMania season and SummerSlam, I buy it and then I cancel it because fuck, fuck. Oh. you get Peacock, you get Netflix, you get fucking Hulu. For yeah. that, just in like four or five subscriptions alone, fool, for sure, a hundred bucks. Don't easy, dog. that's a bill, fool. Easy, fool. Digital <laughs> shit. Easy, dog. Easy, a bill, top it off, the internet, right? <laughs> top it off, cell phone. Boy, you're dropping at least at least four bills, dog, on entertainment and tech for every month. Cause fool, I remember when I first started paying for the YouTube premium shit. Yeah. I remember at first it was uh $9.99, I think. For a month, fool. For right now, that shit's almost like 18 bucks. What the fuck, fool, for real? It's like 
months. I'm like, fuck, do I really need that shit? But I'm like, for I like hearing music. I don't want to be just leaving my phone on. I can turn it off and shit if I want to. I kid you not. You're Download probably, like playlists. You might be the only fool I know that has YouTube Premium. That's crazy. For real? <laughs> yeah. I don't. I mean, I game up. Like, I use, uh, imagine? <laughs> I use uh, Spotify. I just uh, that's what everybody tells me, fool. But it's just like I don't know, fool. Like I don't get the same vibe, like Spotify and fool. YouTube. I feel like YouTube like if I want to hear something specific I could just get it. On Spotify I feel like I have to go through the whole fucking playlist and shit. I do you know what what I recommend I now I think about it? YouTube premium. If mm. you're one of those people that likes to listen to like underground rappers or like underground music in general. Cause Half of the shit, like for example, putting myself in this and, and using my own music shit, like a lot of the music that I have on my YouTube channel are not on Spotify or it's not on like the music is not on. You can't find it on Spotify, or Apple yeah. Music because I don't own the rights to the beat. Yeah, like, you have YouTube Premium, you get to listen to the same shit that's on Spotify, plus all the free shit that I have on my channel. You know. So if you apply okay. that logic, if I apply that logic to anybody else that likes to listen to fucking, or just like music, like fools that want to listen to music that it's like from back in the day and the artist never yeah. really uploaded it to the streaming platforms, then YouTube Premium is probably the way to go. I thought about it before, you know, but it's not, for me, it's not worth it just because I have, my, I make a bunch of playlists on my Spotify and as an artist, like as an actual artist, yeah, you want to have your music on Spotify because of the discoverability and like the playlisting and all all kinds of other features and shit. That's why I use Spotify. Oh, all right. But if I I hate the ads, fool. I hate the fucking ads. You know, I hate the ads. But I rather like you rather go to the ads and and deal with that other shit. I rather pay eleven bucks and watch ads. Than to fucking pay, night like nineteen bucks for it, and you know. True, true. Yeah, you're probably the only one I know that has YouTube Premium. Was. That's true, fool. Because everybody that has, they're just like, just why don't you just use Spotify and shit, or <laughs> fucking calling you a loser. I'm just like, fool. Like I don't know, fool. Like, it's a different shit for me, you know. You get backhanded. Uh, it's a backhanded uh compliment. Oh, you have YouTube Premium, that's cool. It's like, yeah, if I can afford it, this shit. <laughs> like <laughs> calling you a loser secretly. It's like, how can you have no. Spotify, dog? No, nah, it's crazy. Funny, too. It's a, it's weird. I know some people that use like Amazon Music. It's just, hey, for real, for like I got that shit too, because of the premium. Yeah. But I don't know what the hell that shit's about. I don't even use it for me. I have the effort. I just at this point, there's so many, there's so many things out there in the world, dog. Like at this point, whatever flows people's, you know, people, whatever flows, yeah. is, that the, is that the same? Whatever flows people's boat, or whatever yeah. floats your boat, you know. Fool, that's it. Like not interrupt you, fool, but um, when was it? I think two months ago, fool. I won a free year subscription of uh. uh what is it, Cyrus X Radio or some shit like that? Oh shit, you have Cyrus X. Uh, what is it called? FM. I was like, fool, like I have an account. He told me, I'm like, dude, I don't use that shit like at all, fool, like <laughs> at all. Like so, I don't know what it is. It's just radio, fool. Do you have a? I think you have to have a specific, like, uh, stereo for uh, your car. Cause I like on my car phone, me sale así like S A X radio and shims and and me sale madre way the the Cyrus series. I don't know what the fuck it's called. And you don't use it? Um, nah, like, I'm all like I'm sending for like I always to like fucking um like my own playlist type of shit. Yeah, I don't. At this point, like, if you use radio, like, if anybody uses radio at this point, I, I, I'm just like, you know, it's, it's weird now, you know? It's like fools that use yeah, CD like, players or people that still buy DVDs, you know? 
For fools that are like, hey, fool, let me borrow a VHS. Like, fool, does it look like I got a VHS? <laughs> like, it's cool, you know? Like, what, like whatever. But at this point, it's like a, it's a dying technology. Yeah. From, I'm it's pretty sure and it's a couple of years we're going to see that shit in the museum. It's, 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 for, spe- it's, it's for a specific crowd. It was for, like, the boomers. Um, like, You're fucking boomers? I want to live my youth again and shit. Imagine getting called a boomer. That's, that's sad. You're it's like foolish. Be fucking boomer. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, speaking of getting old, right? I know when we were a lot younger, we used to get like last time I said that we were probably gonna, you know, not cover a lot of the crazy shit that we did when we were younger. At least for you, I feel like I'm a lot more open when it comes to that shit. But at least with you, dog. Um, and it's something that, you know, I myself started practicing a lot. It's that sobriety shit. Yeah. When it comes to alcohol. When we were younger, dog, you used to participate in those activities. Right? You used to be in the circle. We used to yeah. crossfade <laughs> a lot. Yeah. And then. Love too much if you say so. Something happened. For what happened? Like that made me just stop. Yeah, like what makes you just stop drinking alcohol? Like it was just random. For me, it was random, but for you, it was something happened. Like, yeah. what, what was... I don't know. For to be honest, like fucking, I just can't tolerate it no more. For like, I just matter when I get that throw. That was like, like ah, your body's just rejecting it. I guess, yeah, I guess it's just a burnout or some shit. Because, like, even, like, drums has like, bottles here. For, like, the whiff them here and there for, I'd just be like, oh, my God, that shit's disgusting. <laughs> I remember... I mean, it wasn't, like, a random moment. It was just, to me, when it was just, like, a... Because it might have happened while I was, you know, it was probably, like, the first, second year when I was in college, and I would come back, and you're like, nah, I don't drink no more. You feel yeah, me? from because when I left, you were still drinking, and then I came back. You're like, nah, I don't really drink like that no more. And I, I kid you not, for it's been a fucking minute since I seen you drink. And I'm not, you know, trying to force you to drink or anything. I just, I'm interested in this whole sobriety thing because I myself am. I'm at a point in my life where I'm about to be five months sober, and I've done five months mm-hmm. sobriety. I did it last year, but last year it was out of a different. It was for like mental health and I was going through my whole battle with OCD. Now it's more of like a decision mm-hmm. that I made where it's like I get the whole fucking I mean, I ask school, the hangover, like they're just disgusting now. Like it's, it's not really worth the hangover, to be honest. Yeah, and so I think about it every day where it's like, damn, like a drink. Maybe it's what it might be for a split second. Like, damn, a beer sounds dope right now. Or I, you know, I'll get like an advertisement for a beer. And every day, like the the thought of maybe going sober for the rest of my life pops up in my head. Like I haven't smoked weed in like a year. Mm-hmm. I said I touched alcohol in five months. And it's weird because like I find that weird talking about it. Because we live in such a first of our culture, right? Being Mexican, it's a fucking yeah. It's a so fucking it's like, oh, like you don't drink for like it's almost mandatory. You, you know, it's almost mandatory. You feel me? It's like a machismo shit. Yeah, and so on the topic of that, like the whole cultural stuff, did you ever feel the pressure of having to drink because of being Mexican and seeing? You know, obviously your pops, my pops, and everybody else when you'd be at these family parties. Do you ever in terms of the cultural stuff, do you ever feel honestly, pressure? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's been a couple of times where I kind of felt like, damn, maybe I should drink, you know, just to you know, just to vibe out with everybody and shit. And it was mostly like in Mexico for like, oh, you know, it's because I'm chilling with my cousins, for you know, like I rarely come here, you know, might as well enjoy the moment. And they'll be like, ah, and the leche tuna, you know, like I'll be like, oh, just take it, just take it. I'd be like, all right, fuck it, you know? And then before you know it, fool, you're over here around the corner fucking puking your guts out and shit. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the cultural impact 
that it has on on the youth, especially growing up, being first generation or even being in Mexico, because I've been like that. You know, I've been to Mexico in a long time, but I, last time yeah. I went, I felt like that. So you like have the culture. to start drinking this shit. Young. And I'm like, damn. Like, damn, who you choked out yourself? Like, bro, what the fuck? You and shit. Like, no mind's way. Nah, honestly though, like I was a I was a big, I could I could tolerate a lot of shit. But I That's look back wrong. at it now and the cultural stuff. What about and the cultural stuff I look I understand it now, right? What about mm -hmm. having like to fit in with a certain crowd? Do you ever feel like you needed a drink to fit in a certain crowd? Maybe when you're younger, right? When you're, you're, you're when you're doing the yeah, whole thing like shit. in the beginning stages and shit, like oh, like yeah, like fuck, maybe even, like to catch me drinking up, like oh, this was probably cool, you know, he's down, he's down and chilling, shit, bye bye or whatever, you know. But then it's just like, all right, we just doing it just to get fucked up. Or just fucking kids and shit, you know? So, like, nah, is it really worth it? Not really. But, I mean, you're young, fool. You make dumbass decisions and shit. You know? I mean, you grow up and you're like, that, you know? I wasn't the brightest bulb in the pack and shit. <laughs> uh, all right, so we got the cultural stuff. We got the 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 homie circle stuff. What what about when it came to women? Do you ever feel like you needed a drink to have a good time with women or something? Yeah, for, that was a whole. Cause I ain't gonna lie, in the beginning, for freaking like just to even like loosen up, I'd be like, all right, we'll talk to that that chick for you know, fucking let me take a quick make sure you know, fucking calm the nerves down and shit. You know, I guess in a way you could call it it was the liquid courage. Mm hmm. So yeah, I was like, fuck, you know, or sometimes like you'll be at a party for the homies and be like, oh, I'll pull up with some fucking chicks and shit. They want to drink. And they're like, you don't want to look like a bitch. <laughs> You're like, all right, fuck it. The one fool that's always like, hey, where the bitches at? And then they pull oh, up with my the hook ass. <laughs> And then they, they pull up with the with the ladies, dog. And then like, nah, fool. I, you know, I can't talk to them. They fool, you all quiet and shit. Like, why the fuck <laughs> you all the way over there and shit? Four shots later, dog, you're in that like, what's up? What's good? It was cracking, you know, trying to trying to max out. For <laughs> Tom Bodies a fucking the number one for the for the FBI list and all kinds of crazy stories. Like, no matter. Tickets for home was already fucking ready to go to sleep. The one for that's like, hey dog, whatever happened to the hundred dollars I let you borrow? What are you talking about like 10 years ago? I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, there's, uh, there's always that one fool in the group, dog. Always. Oh, always you gotta bring one. up that old shit. Hey, you still got my kicks? Like, you know, just like some random ass <laughs> shit, just bringing up in front of the ladies, dog. In front of the ladies, you know? Uh -huh. like, it's a fool. Hey, if you remember when I when I fucking like let you crash in my pad, fool, because you got kicked out, I'm like, fool, no man is way. Like, what the fuck? Like, hey, my boy, stop drinking, though. You're exposing me and shit. Uh. <laughs> nah, fool, just, just let him know, fool. Like, I got your back, fool. Uh, <laughs> so, hey, we got your life. What about, um, did you ever get to a point, because I got to this point, where it's like, you needed a drink. Not like, maybe on a regular basis, but like a daily basis. Did you ever get to that point? Like, not even just to have fun, just because it was just, like, your body was just, like, a routine, you know? Yeah, for, for there was this one year, fool. I was, I think it was 20, 2013. So I swear to God, fool, when I got my fucking income tax check for most of that shit, I would say, like, at least 70% of that shit went to alcohol, fool. Partying and shit, and I was like, "Fuck, God!" I was like, "Fool, that was the most dumbest decisions ever." Yeah, I got to a point too where it was like, maybe it was when I—I I, I think I know when it was. It was, I mean, it didn't help that I was in a frat, but when I turned mm -hmm. twenty-one, 
and I already had my little holiday at the school. I mean, it wasn't paying too much, but I would something get, and shit. you know, it would be enough to to buy like a case every other day and just have my fridge stack. Uh, and then, yeah, that's true. Because not, not giving that's a fuck. kind of the that's the fucking the fraternity vibes, food, drinking and shit like that, partying. I mean, you would think. Like, did you feel like you had to fit in this shit in a way? Like when it came to the front. Like you feel like you had to like prove something or something? Um to to be honest, yeah, I did. And and it and it's like um nobody wants to admit it, dog. Nobody wants to admit it. Yeah, you but, know, I mean, like nah, fool, like it was always me by you know, it's fool, yeah. like all right. Dog. And and do I regret it? No. Was I conscious and I made yeah. the decision? Yeah, dog, I did. Yeah, I mean, we're all we were probably all old enough, you know, made our own conscious decisions at some point, and yeah, we regret them, but hey, can't turn back time. But my need to fit in was 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 stronger than to be the real me, right? Mm -hmm. So I felt like I had to prove to everybody that I was this fool from South Central. I had to prove to everybody that I was this drinker, this smoker, this active ass. Like you had to put on this image and shit. Yeah, and then I had to prove to everybody that I was like worthy dog of being a student. You know, because obviously when you're a minority dog, when you you're full of color, who's I was they're not gonna tell you that, but there's always gonna be that one fool that's like, oh, this fool got in because of affirmative action. Mm. You know, and I don't know if you know what that is, but um no. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's I mean. just like it's just I, I can't. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's just they give opportunities to minorities who because of our skin color. And yeah, just for that diversity shit. Yeah, it's almost like on some diversity and equity, like that kind of. Like, all right, we're gonna hold you a couple people back, so we can let these other people get a chance. Yeah, that's kind of like the easiest way to explain it. You know, it's just yeah. Uh, to really understand it, you have to really break it down the way it's supposed to be broken down. I don't want to talk about it that much, but yeah, there was yeah, multiple yeah, things. I mean, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was multiple things that I had to prove. But when it came down to the drinking, you know, I was that. I was always talking fool. I was always trying to hype myself up to try to fit in, and I would be like, "Yeah, fool, I used to drink and smoke fool when I was in high school." Ba ba ba, and I started when I was thirteen, and ba ba boom. And so yeah, not in Jersey, but why would they fools use that shit like fucking like an achievement? Yeah, I started blazing it when I was eleven and shit. Like, fool, what the fuck? Because I'm gonna be real with you, because that's the only thing that I could relate with them, with the with the fools that I met at the fraternity, or just like give any other fool. You know, they couldn't relate to me. I couldn't relate to them. The only thing we could relate to. Was like experimenting with with drugs or experimenting with alcohol when we were young. Yeah, we're like that. Yeah, I remember when I did my first time of fucking. I smoked my first. And like yeah, I felt this, and I got fucking you know some shit. Yeah. And so I was just like, you know what, fool, fuck it, dog. Like everybody's like interesting, interested in what I gotta say, and so I would just consciously, fool, just like hype up these stories, fool, and and eventually, like that's where the whole fucking rowdy shit came from. Yeah, you know? and so all right. And so the whole rowdy yeah. shit came up from the whole idea of me trying to fit in. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, and then when I, I mean, came I'm back, sure at that moment you were like, didn't really have it in mind to start it as like a whole thing, you know. But I just hey. it was just like uh, it was just an instinct. I, I heard it and I was like, I could run with this shit, you know. Yeah, I, it was. It, it, uh, I was thinking so of. Dumb. I was thinking of Mark just like way before. That light bulb goes up and shit. Yeah, exactly. And so that's when I was like, "Fool, fuck it, I can use this shit, dog." Everybody already knows that, that I'm O three. Fuck it, fool. Let me let me become interesting on camera, dog. Let me become interesting on on social media. And then at the same time, having everybody out here trying to see what the fuck I was doing over there, like, am I gonna show my grades on my Instagram story? Fuck no, dog. I'm like, oh, look, I got so and so grace to this. Like, oh, Charlie, dog. It's like asking for like validation type of thing. So I was like, you know, fuck it, fool. Like, I want to be cool here in college, but I also don't want to seem like no little fucking 
I don't want to seem like a fucking nerd that lost his roots to my people's back home. So yeah, that added like, another I sold out or some shit. Yeah, that added another element full to the whole like rowdy shit. So I was like trying to prove to both sides fool that I was this fucking hardcore fucking actor. Like I, you know, I got the book smarts and I got the street smarts. And so that's what led me to, to doing all that shit, dog, you know? And that's why, like, this whole sobriety shit to me is interesting now. Because yeah, reflecting on it now, fool, at 29, to see the culture influence, the having to fit in influence, the fucking trying to talk to girls influence, and then the fucking, the need, fool, that it, it, it eventually becomes a need because we're so fucking depressed and we're so fucked up that our body just starts fucking... It doesn't crave the alcohol. It craves the numbness for when the dopamine hit that it gets from, from drinking. Yeah. I feel like those senores and shit now, they'll be like, just be kicking back for drinking enchiladas and shit. For what? Uh, you know what I'm saying? For what? They'll just, it just, the, <laughs> exactly. relationship, the relationship of dopamine and alcohol is interesting too. And then me with the fucking... I mean, obviously now, now I understand having OCD, dog, and ADHD. Like it makes a lot of sense for a lot, a lot of decisions that I make back in the day make a lot of sense, and a lot of childhood shit makes a lot of sense. That's why I was asking you for like, um, the the cultural impact because I like to understand people, other people's sobriety, you know, because it makes it yeah. not that it makes it easier, but it. It's easier it to talk about it. You in a way. Yeah, because it's easier to talk about the rowdy shit, fool. Yeah. It's easier to talk about the rowdy shit, fool, because it's like a, it was fun in the moment. It was a lot. It felt like I was doing yeah. a lot. Yeah, I felt like I was doing a lot with my time. But with sobriety, it feels like my life is so fucking boring. So it's hard to talk about it because... Uh, it's just fucking boring, fool. You know, it's fucking boring. It's, like, it's not like you're doing all kinds of crazy shit. Not like, oh yeah, I remember when I got fucked up this time, fool. I took like three shots back to back, fool, and then I did a fucking bomb rip, and then I did another shot. Like, fool, that's gonna catch more attention than me being like, oh, I was just chilling at home. I just had a shot, yeah. you know. And did all right? So, so okay, fool. So speaking of the whole active shit, did you ever feel like? Or now looking at looking back at it now, right? Do you feel like your life is quote unquote more boring now that you don't drink as compared as to when you were drinking? Yeah, I guess so, you know, way. Cause I mean I I look at people my age, I mean they're still like drinking, going to clubs and shit like that. And I'm still just like, fool, like why am I gonna go waste my money over there, fool? Fuck it, so I can just throw it up later and then just wake up with a fucking headache for a black. Woken up the get some good breakfast, woo, you know? Fucking after that, you know, go get some you know, indulge in whatever you like and shit, you know. But I mean everybody has their choices. Can't tell you what to do. Did you put it into perspective? And then obviously you have a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know? I just be like, oh, I'm gonna get fucked up and come back drunk and shit and after he wakes up and sees it's like Oh, I guess that's cool as shit, you know? Maybe he might pick up the habit and shit, like, God forbid. You know? Because that's kind of in a way I look at it, because, like, all right, like, all right what am I going to do? Like, Because at some point, I know they're going to be, like, they're going to get curious, but they're going to want to try shit. Or, you know, go to a party and be like, oh, you know, my homie, man, be throwing a chair. You know, it goes on from there. I don't want to see if we come fucking that fool comes home drunk the first time and shit. I'm like, oh my god. Where it's like it, it makes you think about like growing up in the neighborhoods we did grow up and having liquor stores everywhere and having all like I'm saying, all the influences for that I just mentioned, right? And how much of an influence it has on our kids' self, you know, when we're kids and then yeah, when we become curious in middle school, yeah, we, we always have that one homie dog. You know, or in my case, I had the fucking three of you fools stealing tecates fool at a fucking party, dog, when I was a seventh grader and shit. <laughs> like, you know? Like, and if we want one, fool, I'm going to go to the next one for you if you want. I swear to God, fool, I was just thinking Deep about that. Day. Like, nah, I don't want it, fool, but you'll be like, ah, I'm just chilling. I'm having a good time. Why not? 
And that honestly, like I was thinking about it was a random day. I was just a random memory, fool. You know when it was? You remember this one family party that we had? Where like it was at the end, it was like late as fuck. And we had already like drank the fucking or you fools started drinking the tecate. So it was like one or two. And I took a couple swigs. I was like in seventh grade. But it was this one day where it was my pops and your pops food just chilling by the fucking um by the fence and they had a barril food like right next to them. I don't know if you remember this day, fool. Like my dad almost was like, fell your inside. Pen? Yeah, it was in my pad. And they were like falling into the fucking into the into the water. Are you trying to get the beers and shit? I don't know if you remember. No. I mean, I remember it because I, I that day had such a big influence in my life, dog. Like when it came down to it. And I was just thinking about that shit the other day. Like remembering the tecate fool, because I remember my brother, he pulled it out of his pocket and he's like, Hey, look what I got. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then <laughs> and then drove. And then drone was like, fuck you, fool. Like, I, you know, and then, like, it was like the three of you fools. And I was like, fuck, I want to, I want to be cool. I want to do that too. Shit. I want to do that shit too. So it's like little influences like that. So I, I like to hear stories. I'd rather hear the stories like what influence people to drink because I find it, it's comedy, you know, it's like it's funny to, to, to relate to. Cause yeah, even thinking about it now, fool, like, I can't even feel like we kind of force you to smoke tofu in a way. That too, yeah, that too, like that right there in itself. But this is not a you didn't force it was just like um what do we call it? It was an accidental influence. Yeah, it wasn't like fuck you, they were gonna fuck you up or type of shit, you know? I was like, you a bitch nah, for not smoking. Like, they was like, hey, fool, like here, just take a hit, fool, like it's cool. And so, like, okay, so we talk about myself, but what influenced you, dog? Like, let's talk about who influenced you. I mean, we all know the answer to that. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Well, yeah, well, I remember fucking the first time I ever fucking tried it. Fool was uh, we was chilling at this fool's fucking homies pad and shit, and they are like, "Yeah, fool, we got a fucking a nickel bag full of fucking of some herb and shit." The day before, they're ditched it fool, and fucking they just started rolling. Fool started smoking. I'm like, fool, like. Like you're for I was like, I right, fucking fool, fool. Like the first time, there was all that smoke got in my eye. I was like smoking fool. All the smoke got in my eye. I was like, fuck, fool, I'm blind and shit. Like what the fuck? Uh, yeah, I was like, fuck. I know. I think too. They had. Uh, I remember from a previous party, fool. I think this fool had brought like two or three Bud Lights from there. Like he took them in his backpack, and we made up at this fool's pad. Started drinking them there and shit. That was the first time I ever had a beer, fool. Yeah, you remember that shit. I'm telling you, like the way you remember these stories is the way I remember this my story. Like, you know, with you fools and then my homies in Echo Park or several like and that's that's how it that's that that influence that I'm talking about, right? That shit is it's yeah. funny to look at it. It's funny to look at it when you like sober. different perspectives and shit, but it kind of like clicks up at the end. It's like, oh, it kind of was the same situation. It, Cause looking at looking back at it now, when we're sober, when we're away from everything, it's we might laugh at it, we might you know feel some type of way, but at least for me, I like to laugh at it, you know. Mm -hmm. The influence, it, it it did have a big influence in our childhood, in our teenage years, in our early twenties, and shit like that. And yeah. so I, I'd rather hear and talk about the influence when it comes to drinking, like in the sobriety, the the whole like topic of sobriety. Than having story like having a trade war stories or having a trade rowdy stories, you know, because the rowdy like, stories yeah, went, from... they're fun, bro. They're rowdy stuff, like I said, they're fun to talk about. But there's no, there's no like, um, at least in my like the way I like to have conversations or platicas with people. There's no topic. There's no end point. You know what I'm saying? There's no yeah. Lesson. There's no lesson. Yeah, at least when we're talking it's about just the like influence. a perspective and shit. Yeah, it's just a story. When it comes to talking about the influence, it's a story, but it has a message behind it, mm -hmm. right? And then when yeah. it comes to the to the platicas <clears throat> and just talking about the whole journey of greatness, there it's a lot more influ. It's a lot more. There's more substance in learning about what influenced us than talking about what we did. Yeah, while we were under the influence, you know. Yeah, that's true. 
Because <clears throat> I, I could, shit, I could do episode on episode on episode just some like just back stories. to back type of thing. Just back to back food, just like story after story, dog. Like you know, on the last last story food. This is this is a real war war story, right? This is a real drinking story, and and I was in ninth grade. And I don't know what the fuck I went to your food's pad. I forgot what it was. Fool. I think I just wanted to kick it. Uh, and I pulled up on a random ass day. It was like you was rolling deep. And I remember walking into your food's room and you was had a stack. With my boy, a fucking four locals. <laughs> oh, then, Think about this shit, man. You ask me. You know what I'm talking about? That, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Right? Exactly what I'm talking about. And I then, still got the picture too, fool. <laughs> And it was so bad that like you fools would go to that store and they ran out of four locals and you fools had to start buying those juices, those those uh yeah. those bootleg fucking four locals and shit. Oh yeah. for oh that's right. You know, and then so like think about it, like me, I was 15 for going to your fool's pad. This is when I was I think I was experimenting more with weed at this time. Yeah. And then walking and seeing a fucking stack of four locals. And this is before they fucking changed the recipe. This was still when they had the caffeine and all that shit. When it was still fucking. Motherfuckers was locked out and shit. That's just when fools were locked out. And I remember you fools' fucking eyes were just like beamed up. Like beamed like these fools fucking sick ass fucking lenient. I was like, what the fuck? (laughs) And that, to me, though, like. Th- those stories like that, they're funny to reflect on them, but there's no, the only message from there, there there's is no good message in there. And there shit. Is no good message. The only message I can think of is have fun, right? But I don't, I don't yeah, I don't think there is. <laughs> this, this, you shouldn't have fun with four locals. And, and after that day, I'm not gonna lie to you for that. That day, it influenced me to try four local. Dang. Yeah. Cause in my head I was like, oh, I want to be like my cousins. Like, yeah, they're always having fun and shit. They're always having a good time. They don't care, no cares in the world. This is like four D Donnie Savage is fucking. I don't even know why the fuck we was doing it. And then that comes back to the same shit. It's for just to fit in, for I guess you know. Yeah, just to fit in. And what is your what is your final message when it comes to sobriety, dog? What is like. What would you tell somebody in my position who was like in the um at the brink of a life changing decision? I mean, I would say, you know, it's always like good that you, you know, you're getting off old habits and shit, stuff like that. Because it's in the long run, it's it's better for you, health wise as well. Uh, because I mean, even in our culture, food like we tend to see like a lot of people who suffer from like, alcohol addiction, food and, like, or sometimes it's like the main cause of their death and shit because they stay drunk or they they're dependent on it, you know. And that's one thing that like, you know that we that's we don't want to see our families go through that, you know. Like it's hard enough as it is that we see it on other people, but then when it comes to our own, it makes it a little deeper, you know. So I would say, you know, just if you're planning to quit. You know, go with that mentality like that you're not going to step back into that world and shit because, you know, one, maybe, you know, you're out, you're having a drink for and you decide to have another drink and before you know it, before you're in a car crash, huh? God forbid. You know, it's a, it's always about the decisions you make. In my but case, say, for, you know, I'd be, for, I'd be with Chino dog and Alhambra fool getting kicked out of a bar and I left my backpack at a, inside the bar with my microphones in there because we got kicked out. You know, it seems it's it's always like I think about yeah, those. Like, you know, and, and when there's people like to admit it and not fool, it's kind of like in the it always puts you with kind of in bad situations, huh? Or in like situations that you don't even want to be in and shit. But I mean, hey, it's at the moment you're like, hey, I'm just having a good time. But I mean, good times have cost too. Yeah, they do have a consequence sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing for free in this world and shit. And then to end the platica, right? Speaking of substances or speaking of 
doing certain partaking in certain activities, though. What's up with cigars? Are you still smoking them or not? Fool, I haven't smoked a cigar since the last time we did it, fool. But I know you've been telling me, fool, and it's been itching at me, too, fool. Like, <laughs> these past Fridays, fool, like, I haven't even been working, fool, because work has been slow and shit. So it's kind of been tight. So, yeah, that's why I told you, fool, like, oh, let's, you know, if we're going to kick it, fool, let's do it next week, fool, because, like, I'm a little tight on funds and shit. So, I'm like, fuck it, yeah, I know for sure, yeah, next week, I'm I'm set, for Like, you know, I'm, I'm down to go in. Have a good time and shit. I got um safely too. Nothing crazy. Oh yeah, we do our shit like full the yeah. to the minimum. Now we do everything to the minimum. We used to do everything to the max. Now we do everything to the minimum. For real, that's <laughs> the <laughs> room we went to twenty twenty bar with your brother, and we got those fucking tower of beers full. The ass those shits were wild. I was like, damn. When was this? Ah, shit. It was, I think it's when you were in Ohio, fool. I think. Because I only been to the to the one. We went to the one in Downeyway. But I think oh, it's, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's already closed by now. No, nah, the only one I remember going to was the one in. Um, the one in Pacific. HP? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Years ago. No, I've never been to that one. I think I did go to the one in Downey one time, but it was was it with you fools? Might That's the one right there and uh next to that DB lounge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that shit. We went in the back, right? You go through the back. The yeah. Lot? Yeah. Some fool Maybe. got tased in the parking lot and shit. <laughs> no, nah, I don't I wasn't there with when that happened then. No, nah, that's when we were with your brother, fool. Yeah, so I mean both times I went with my brother, but it was I think it was with Joan the first time I ever went. It was just the three of us. You might have not been there. But yeah. I remember one time we went, but we went to the Downey Brewery. We got the little boots. I was there for that one. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah. <laughs> we were we talking about like war stories and shit where we we're bringing up random ass like uh, spots we used to drink at. For real. Uh, uh, the cigars, food, when it comes back to going back to cigars, I had a, my coworker, he just quit. But he used to work at a cigar lounge, so he kind of oh, kind of gave me some some tips and some pointers on how to smoke a cigar and shit. So next time we smoke one, like I, I feel like you'd be a visual learner, so I'll just show mm. you. And shit, he's told okay. me that like um about the the ashes, about the reason why we should never ash them is because it protects the cigar and you know and like all kinds of shit, dog. Like. Like he just told me a bunch oh, of okay. crazy ass little tips. Remember that one time we were we recorded the fully when I was still doing the fully podcast and we recorded that one episode at the beach, mm -hmm. and we were asking all these questions. Yeah, like to ourselves, you know, like a lot of like, oh, what, what if, you know, like what do we do here? And like he, I asked him a lot of those questions. He gave me a lot of those answers and shit. Um, oh, for real? Yeah, cause um, last week I smoked two cigars. Oh fuck! Yeah. Damn. So, Big boss, but it's cause like um, so it was his last day, and uh, I smoked them with him last Friday, and then I had another one on Sunday. Mm -hmm. That didn't work on Monday, but it's oh, the okay. fucking um. I don't remember the first time I when we when you took me to the one right there in, in SM. It was like a pretty medium sized one. Oh yeah. So I bought like three of those and shit. So he he, he was like, he explained me. He, he gave me a lot of tips and shit. So next time we smoke a cigar, we're gonna do it the right way, you know. All right, for sure. But, I'm down with that. But I don't, I don't, I don't <clears throat> see myself smoking cigars past this year. I might, to me, I'm like I'm at that point where it's like, la tentación for the temptation is like slowly fading away. Maybe it's because I was never into tobacco and I was never really a big. I never smoked cigarettes or a big mm. tobacco fool, you know. But I'm at the point where it's like, yeah, I don't. See I'm being honest smoking. myself, fool. I'm kind of like on the same boat, fool, because I'm like, fool. I don't think I wanted to be coughing my lungs out for that too, you know, for all that. I, just, I don't see myself smoking a cigar pass this year. And, like, I don't even picture myself in, like, even in the older age smoking and shit. 
At first, at first, yeah, I did. I'm not gonna lie to you, dog. At first, I did. I was like, yeah, if I'm gonna be smoking one every at the end of every week for, for the rest of my life, dog, puffing. I see myself like a 50, 60. So it was my puffing. victory cigar and shit. Now, if I'm at the point where it's like, man, fuck this shit. It's like, I think this is there for it. This is there <laughs> yeah. for my fucking cigar career. My c- <laughs> I experimented for a year and a half, and that was it. Um, yeah, for, for is there kid. like um, is there like an like a image that you have in your head when it comes to a cigar, whether it's smoking at a certain place or trying a certain cigar? I know it's just like a. We just. Started. I know. I picture once myself full, in two shits in the location and the type of cigar for that I want to smoke at. All right, drop them. Like I want to be at the top of a building with a view, like with a fucking chair full pool, all the way, with a fucking Cuban form. Cool. A legit Cuban form. Cigar form. All right. Talking about cigars. All right. That sounds like a. I feel like that's everybody's dream image when it comes to smoking a cigar. Excuse me. Nice fucking view at night. Full fucking puffing. You know, you have the whole world at your feet. Talking about like, damn, you know? Pretty sure that shit makes you feel dumb. I picture myself being Tony Soprano, dog. The boss? I'm the motherfucking one. Cause the motherfucking shots. I'm gonna watch one. that shit again. Uh-huh. I probably smoked my last one today. Today? Yeah, after this, at like twelve o'clock. Hey, that's it. You're done. No, because I, I had like, got like two, three more in me. No, I had because I have an extra one that I had right there. If All I don't, right. if I don't have them. I don't want them, but I have it. So, I want so you it. want it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So fuck it up. Handles. Enjoy the dopamine, that shit. The dopamine food, dopamine from the cigar, dog. It's pretty high right now still, so. He's trying to kick in and shit. He's like trying to go on fucking hyperdrive and shit. But, but we come to the end of Platica, my boy. Uh, it was cool talking with you again. Yeah, nice catching up, dog. You know, a little Platica. We had the introduction Platica, so we didn't really have like a legit list of topics this one's this was almost like i had like a little list and shit but it was almost like we free fucking we freestyled it kind of freestyled it that's exactly how most of these are gonna be talked about a lot of good shit but um you know you got anything else to say yeah for fucking uh i got something for you fool but like yeah it's gonna be to like towards the end of the year fool because it's kind of like i kind of pre-ordered it and shit but yeah, expect that. I'm I'm more than likely for uh, it's a, like a nine times out of ten for the year like this. All right, shit, say less, dog. <laughs> I'll be waiting for it. We'll have yeah. A, we'll, I'll we'll keep have you a We'll have a platica about it. You know, I'll open it during the platica or some shit or or whatever. We'll do whatever. For real? We'll do yeah, about fuck it, that. Or we could for smoke sure. a cigar for we could smoke a cigar while we're oh opening. even better, dog. Shit, it don't even have to be on camera, you know. Yeah, I'm uh, down with that. that shit? But yeah, I'll, I'll hit you up, kicking next week, my brother and your brother, and um, yeah. see what's up and shit. But yeah. um, thank you again for taking time out of your Saturday, yes, sir, uh, to do the platica. Appreciate you having me. Thank you for coming back, and then you know, I always, I'm always gonna hit you up to be. Yeah, for whenever. You know, we. Always no, I'm always here, though. I was good, good platicas and shit. Not just because you're my cousin, fool, but I feel like there's a lot of topics that we talk about when we kick it that deserve some spotlight at on the actual. Yeah, yeah. True that, true that. But other than that, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, the notification bell so you know when I drop another video, when I go live. I'll see you when I see you. Don't forget to love yourself today, all right? Adios. Stepping out the door with some fresh 90s, the old whites, the drips nice. Yeah, I might see, but I don't wear eyes. Still a fool that looks fly. Got my button down on.